she aspires to be an accountant. We have another uh, student, Michael, that also is interested in being an accountant. And then also I've got kids at this point that are seniors. They're doing a six month internship right now. So that would be an opportunity where you could actually go out for six months. And that's typically a paid opportunity where you can, uh, do you know somebody in the accounting field right now or? I do not personally okay. know. Yeah. And we actually have contacts to do that um, as well to get you. I've got a gentleman across the street. He's at a real estate office. He wants to be a realtor. And so there's a lot of good, uh, what we call work-based learning opportunities. So um, we do a lot of, um, I mean, when we first get in, we talk, we have two textbooks right now. They're called entrepreneurship and the other one's called marketing. And so we kind of rotate those. We'll do about three chapters in the entrepreneurship. We'll go over to the marketing book to kind of, you know, keep things uh, fresh, if you will. And so pretty much by the time we get to our Christmas break, we're done with the textbooks in this class. And um, we do a lot of projects, uh, even during that time, the first two, nine weeks. But even now, the kids are working on their business plan. That takes about uh, four more weeks to work on it. We do Dave Ramsey financial literacy. And um, so there's just a lot of different things, a lot of hands-on projects in this class. So do you like public speaking? I don't mind talking in front of people. I usually choose to do it in a group. Okay, awesome. Well, we, um, we, we do a lot of that in class, do a lot of public speaking. Um, um, we, on Wednesdays, I typically try to show about a five minute gold cast video. If you're familiar with that, it's kind of just a motivational type video. So we do a lot of different things to try to, you know, get you out of your comfort zone and, and mm -hmm. kind of grow your skills and public speaking and your confidence and things like that. And we kind of use business to do that. Um, yes. so hey, awesome. Mackenzie, you there? Mackenzie Prince. Yes, sir. Awesome. How are you, Mackenzie? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Where do you go to school, Mackenzie? Uh, Borden. Okay, great. Uh, well, I got a number of Borden students now. Have you talked to any of them? Uh, no. All right. I got about, I got a bunch of the basketball players, oh, tennis players. I got, uh, let me get my list, Mackenzie. And you're a 10th grader? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Let me grab my list. Um, so here we go. So I got a couple of folks now. In fact, when you we look at our website here in a minute, you'll recognize some of them, even with the mask problem. We've got Gavin Gentry. You know Gavin? Right? Yeah. He's in um, the class this year. Let's see who else got to Let me get on my list here. We've got um, Caden Holmes, Mason Carter, Blake Hammond. You know any of those? Yeah. I know them. Okay, yeah. So they're in the class this year as uh, juniors, and then if they come back next year, they'll be in the – the other, the PM class, if you will. So awesome. So um, Mackenzie, you're interested in doing business perhaps for next year? Uh, I'm looking into it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet, honestly. Okay. Well, that's good. And that's why we're doing this. And have y'all had a chance? Um, Mackenzie, Evan's also on here. Evan Johnson, he's from Silver Creek. And um, so have you had a chance to look at any of the short videos that we put out there on the Presser TV? Uh, not yet, because honestly, today was the first day I even thought about looking into any of it. That's good. That's good. How about you, Evan? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just watched the marketing video a little bit ago. Okay, and it's like a minute and a half. So, Mackenzie, um, well, it looks like it's after six, so we'll go ahead and get started, if you don't mind. Um, so, um, nice to meet you, Evan and Mackenzie. Uh, my name is Matthew Hyde. I'm the instructor here at Prosser. Um, I love what I do. This is a second career for me. I've been doing this about... This is going on my fourth year now, and so I've done a lot of different stuff. I've been in the military. I've done product marketing for Volvo. I've done nonprofit, and so I love what I do as a teacher here. This is kind of what I've been blessed with this second career as a teacher. So, um, And I try to convey that on a daily basis to my students when they come out. So if you have a chance to talk to any of the students, McKenzie, I'm hopeful they'll say favorable things about class. So if, can you see my screen now with the picture? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Good, good, good. So this is, unfortunately, we, with our COVID situation this year, but this is the people that are in uh, my AM class this year. So if you decide to come um, next year, these are the folks who are in the AM program right now. And so uh, it's strategic marketing, but we do a lot of things as I was, uh, Mackenzie, as I was telling Evan, we, the kids are working on a business plan right now. We talk a lot about marketing. We talk about sales, personal selling, um, we talk about finance and so forth. So, Mackenzie, as you look at the business program, uh, what are kind of your interests? Is it marketing? Is it accounting? Or you're kind of just exploring right now? Um, marketing. 
Okay, awesome. Well, good, but that's my background. <laughs> so um, I've got about 20 years of marketing myself, so awesome. And then Evan said finance. I'm just making some notes. So if you'll bear with me, um, Evan, I'm going to show this short video to Mackenzie and um, just so she can get an idea. Matthew Hyde, I'm the Prosper Business Program Instructor. I want to say thank you for your interest in this program and Prosper specifically. If you have an interest in whatsoever in any type of business as a career, I would ask that you would look at this program closely. We're going to do a lot of different activities compared to our business career. We're going to do a lot of public speaking in here. We're going to learn how to manage a business. You will actually draft a business plan to build a website to promote that business. You learn how to secure and manage financing. We're going to have, we're going to have a lot of guest speakers and field trips. It will be a great networking opportunity. So we'll go out and talk to people that have been very successful and see what's worked for them. And we'll have an opportunity to, have to ask them a lot of questions and have them come to sleep with us as well. At the end of the day, I think we have a lot of fun in this class and we learn a lot. As far as, as, far as the dual credit opportunities, the first year in here, you'll actually earn 15 college credit hours for your first year. If you decide to come back the second year in the program, you're actually earning an additional 15 college credit hours. So essentially, if you decide to do both program two, both years of this program, uh, you will actually have 30 college credit hours um, free of charge for doing both years in this program. Uh, the work based learning opportunities that you'll have with your job shadow that will be for you as a junior, and you'll be done with four hours of your own time that you run to visit business. Your internship can come back the second year, you'll do two week long micro internships on Prosper Time, and then you're also doing a six month long internship, and that's an eight dollar junior. So we, so we have a lot of uh, hands-on hands opportunities for you to get a lot of experience with regard to business. I'd just, like just like to say thank you for your interest in the business program at Prosser. Most, most importantly, whatever program you decide to participate to attend at Prosser, I can, I can assure you it will be one of the most valuable learning opportunities that we'd like. We'd love, we'd love to see you next year. Thank you. All right, so sorry for the difficulty, technical difficulties. So um, with that video, just real quick, that's a minute and a half kind of overview, McKenzie, about what we do in the program. Uh, any questions so far based on the short, short video? Uh, no. Okay, good. So again, this is a program this year. I actually have 26 students in the AM class. We can take up to 30. I have 26. And then in the afternoon class, if most of these folks will elect to come back. Out of this whole picture here of 26 students, all of them are juniors except one student, Evan, um, that's from Silver Creek, and she'll be graduating this year. All right, Rachel Buchanan. All right, so just to give you an idea again to kind of expand on the video I showed you, these, there's a lot of opportunities here. So before you joined us, um, McKenzie, I was telling Evan about a job shadow. So the students have already done that for this year. We do a lot of guest speakers in this class. We do a lot of field trips. In a normal year, we do that with COVID. That's really kind of uh, hurt us a little bit. But we've had guest speakers virtually. We do a lot of those. I'm also a realtor, so we'll go to my real estate office and you'll talk to my broker and his two sisters about owning a company and what it takes to be successful. We go to Skew Vault, um, which is another company in Louisville that's um, doing very well. It's a startup. And um, so we do a lot of different field trips, Cuddle Clones. I don't know if you're familiar with that business. We've had the lady, the cookie lady from uh, the Bats baseball games and so forth. So we do a lot of field trips, a lot of guest speakers. And the reason is I want you to, it's not just textbook stuff in here, but as we're, we're going through the business plan and the different projects for marketing and so forth, we're going to have these folks that are very successful and come in and talk to you. And, and I always have them tell when they relate to the class, give me your top 10 things to be successful. So that's really a large part of what the, uh, when we have the guests and we do visits, um, the, the projects and so forth. So again, that's a business plan. We actually had the Indiana small business development gentleman come in last week and every business plan that's being done in here is I've got actual market data um, to do that business plan. Let's see what else. The micro, and that's it. You come back on the second year on the right side of the screen. Um, I, my students will do, as seniors, they'll do a micro internship. That's a week at the beginning of the school year. They'll come back. Then they'll do a six month internship. They'll come back after their spring break, and then they'll do one more week long internship or micro internship. And um, in your case, Evan, you had an interest in doing financing, so you could go to a CPA's office for that week or that six months. Uh, Mackenzie, if you've got an interest in marketing, uh, I've had students go over to my real estate office, Berkshire Hathaway, they've done marketing for them. So we've, I've got a lot of resources. Um, one Southern Indiana, I've had students go over there. I've had students go to Indiana Small Business Development Center. So there's a lot of opportunity to get work-based learning. And that's really what makes Prosser quite unique is that you get, get out there 
and get actual hands-on projects. This is kind of synopsis of what we do in this class. I don't know why my picture's showing, kind of covering up, but some careers. So you mentioned you want to be in accounting, Evan, um, certainly sales representative and marketing, definitely um, McKinsey as well. So this kind of gives you an idea as a kind of an overview of the program. And this is kind of what I've already talked about. Um, if you come here each semester that you're here, you'll get three uh, high school credits. So per year, you've got six high school credits. Um, you essentially, if you were to come next year in the AM program as a junior, you will attend 755 to 1035 on a daily basis. That's about two hours and 35 minutes. And then the folks that come back in the afternoon, the seniors, they attend basically 1120 to two o'clock. Um, on the work-based learning, the good thing is um, the job shadow, you actually do that on your time. So typically when we've had our first fall break, we'll give you a chance to do that. The micro internship and the six month internship, those are on Prosser time. So instead of coming to Prosser, sitting in the classroom, you're gonna be out there. You're gonna be in an accounting, accountant's office. You're gonna be doing marketing with somebody and you're gonna be actually getting out there and getting hands on. Um, and I've actually got a couple of folks now that are at a trucking company in uh, Borden that they're actually doing some HR um, duties and um, that's going real well for them. I've got a gentleman at the real estate office close by. So um, again, whatever you're interested in, or I've had folks that they have family businesses and they want to you know, work with the family business, I'm, we're, we're totally with that. The Pride Work Ethic Program. Are you familiar with Pride, um, Evan or McKenzie at all? I don't think so. No. Okay. You know, so anybody know what soft skills are? All right. So a soft skill could be like I'm organized, I communicate well, I'm dependable, I'm respectable, I know I'm, I'm res I respect people and so forth. So our Prosser Pride, we everything that we do in this class and every class at Prosser, we really promote that work ethic, which is basically soft skills. So whether you're going to be an accountant or a marketing person, a doctor, lawyer, teacher, you know, whatever, um, those soft skills will transfer across the industries. Um, scholarships, the nice thing in this class, we've been fortunate. We've done three scholarships, uh, I think, for the last two years. Um, the goal is to continue to build that. So this year I'm hoping to get three or more scholarships for any graduating senior. Um, that's an opportunity where you have one of our business partners will be able to present you what we call our Promising Entrepreneur Scholarship. And then you get a uh, certificate of completion. But guys, the neat thing is, if you look at that, you if you decide to do both years, that is 30 college credits. That is essentially a year of college that cost you nothing. What's your time? All right. And just uh, for future reference, let me look at our time. we got about 6.15, and then we'll, we'll take some questions. Um, we've got a website out there. So um, yeah, just if you want to look at it more in depth um, as you're kind of thinking about the programs for next year, the website is ilmhyde, you can see it at the top here, ilmhydepcec.weebly.com. And so um, I've got uh, essentially you know, kind of what the program's about. We've done some a lot of projects. We've competed in this class. We've gone to UK, Western Kentucky. We did a Shark Tank activity, I think it's about two years ago at University of Louisville. The team actually won a thousand bucks. We do Skills USA, where you um, the kids are actually working on a business plan now. They'll represent Prosser at the state, at the school level, state level, and the um, you know national level. So we've got some good things if you are if you're competitive and you want to get out there and compete against other schools and so forth. Um, real quick, we also have a Facebook page, and um, hopefully it'll show up here. Can you guys see that? No, hopefully. no. Let me swap over here and um, present now tab. Were you able to see the uh, website at least or not? No. Ah, sorry about that. All right. So, um, so now you can see this is our Facebook page. And again, the address is um, entrepreneur, uh, Prosser Entrepreneurship. And so if you want to check out the Facebook page, anytime our kids are doing something, we um, you know, try to take pictures and promote. When a guest speaker comes in, we'll throw it out there. Um, the students right here, you can see they're competing in skills. USA, we just had that this week. This was one of our guest speakers, Joe Lenny from the Indiana Small Business Development Center. So anytime we have anybody that comes in, we take a class picture and we kind of give a shout out to the individual, um, you know, that, that came and spoke with us. We do a field trip. We do the exact same thing. Um, let me get back here. My apologies. Um, I'm going to show you the website at least. Um, oh, hang on. Present. 
give me about one more minute of your time. All right, let's go here. Share this tab. All right, guys, so um, I don't think you can see it now. Present now. Tab. So anyway, I'm just kind of pushing you toward those two different things with our website and our Facebook page. So you can see students that you may know, for example, from Silver Creek Evan, from Board and McKenzie, um, that will kind of give you more familiarity as far as if you recognize somebody from your home school. Uh, my LinkedIn's also on there, but uh, let me show you um, this real quick. And I've tried to put a picture of every class that we've had since I've been here with the website. So this is our, you may recognize some of these folks as far as from Borden, Gavin and Mason and so forth, Caden. Um, these are our folks from last year. Those are our seniors. So again, I've just kind of put pictures of each class when we've gone on field trips, University of Kentucky and so forth. So that's kind of my uh, sell, if you will. <laughs> Let me see if I've got one more slide and um, orientation, there we go. Share this tab. So I think, yeah, so here we go. I know that was real quick. There's a lot of information, but what are your You're questions? You're not presenting it in anymore. My bad. All right, let me go back here. Present. All right, hang on just a second. Present now. And orientation. Present. There you go. So, like, with this program, with, like, going in to get my real estate license, Yes. Does this allow me to go ahead and go straight into it or do yes. I have to go through? Yeah, you would still have to, you would still have to kind of, and you have to be, I believe, 18 or at least, I'm a licensed in Kentucky, but it, I think either Indiana or Kentucky, you have to be at least 18, I'm pretty sure. But the good thing is, um, Carly, is that you're going to get a lot of skills in this class. In fact, our first guest speaker is one of my uh, colleagues at Berkshire Hathaway that's probably the best agent we have in the house. And she comes and talks about personal selling. So while you won't necessarily get the curriculum or you know get your license while you're in this class, you have a lot.